So the Miami Dolphins are only one of nine undefeated teams after week two in the NFL. Only one of two teams that are undefeated in the AFC with the other team being the Ravens. And of course, that's all going to change after week three. But the Dolphins have a really good chance at starting 3-0 as they play the Broncos this weekend. So um, it's the home opener in Miami. Like I said, a really good chance that they start 3-0 once again. But the Dolphins really should be considered one of, if not the best team in the AFC. I think you can really throw them into that conversation with the Chiefs and Bills and Bengals and even the Jaguars if they can make that discussion. But beyond that, the Dolphins should be considered Super Bowl contenders and you can throw them in the top five teams in the NFL. Um, taking a look at some other AFC contenders who are already facing a ton of injuries. The Jets lose Aaron Rodgers for the year. The Browns lose Nick Chubb for the year. The Ravens lose J.K. Dobbins. Odell Beckham's already dealing with an injury, his ankle. I think he's questionable for this week against, I want to say, the Colts. Um, the Steelers lose Deontay Johnson and Cam Hayward for the next couple of weeks, and they just pulled off a big win against Cleveland on Monday night. And yeah, man, I mean, these are all teams that I either had making the playoffs or, or finishing close to making the playoffs. And honestly... The, the four teams that people always hit at the top of the AFC were the Chiefs, the Bills, the Jaguars, and the Bengals. And those four teams are all one and one after week two, but they've not been playing good at all. Specifically, the Bengals, who are actually, sorry, the Bengals are not one and one. They are 0 oh and two. Uh, a terrible week where they got blown out against the Browns in week one, or maybe that was the Ravens. They played the Browns and the Ravens, and they got blown out by um, in both weeks. And Joe Burrow has, has been off his game. T Higgins, T Higgins had a pretty big game last week, but Jamar Chase has basically just been a decoy so far this season. This week they play the, I'm blanking again. I know that they play in Cincinnati though. They need to pull off the win this week. And starting 0-3 is completely different than starting 0-2. They started 0-2 off last year and they made it to the AFC Championship game. Uh, but of course, they, they, need to, they need to win this week. Um, they cannot afford to start 0-3. Hopefully this is Joe Burrow's revenge game. Not revenge game, but just bounce back game in general in sake of Bengals fans. But if they don't, they're going to be in trouble. The Jags started off really sluggish against the Colts. They didn't really bounce back at all. They only put up nine points against... It was the Chiefs, but at the same time, only nine points is crazy. And on the Chiefs side, they only put up 17 points, which is a really bad game for them. But they ended up pulling off the win against the Jags. The Bills looked terrible Monday night against the Jets in week one. Josh Allen threw three interceptions. And then last week, they picked it up. Josh Allen bounced back against the Raiders. A really big week this week against the... I'm really forgetting, but I know that they have a big game next week. Again, or I think they play the Commanders. Uh, next week, though, they play the Dolphins in Buffalo. That's a huge game for both teams, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Dolphins have been playing like one of, if not the best team in the NFL. Now the 49ers are killing the Giants on Thursday Night Football right now. They just picked Mac Jones off and that game's basically over. So the 49ers are 3-0. I would probably put the 49ers as the best team in the NFL so far this year. I'd probably follow that with the Cowboys, but the Dolphins should be right behind them as the best team in the AFC. I don't see any reason that why you could have any other team over them. Uh... You know, the other uh, the other 2-0 and teams are, I don't, know, I don't know, I mean, the Commanders, the Bucks, the Saints, the Falcons, those teams clearly aren't better than the, than the Dolphins. Um, and, you know, the Dolphins had a really great game week one against the Chargers. Now, week two against the Patriots on Sunday night wasn't as great, but a win's a win at the end of the day, and they pulled it off. Um, Tua has been probably the MVP so far this year. I think he should be the favorite. Uh, big week this weekend against Sean Payton's Broncos. We'll see what happens against that defense because we know that they've got a pretty nice unit. Will they be able to stop Ty Will they be able to stop Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle? We'll see. Speaking of Jalen Waddle, though, I forget what I said about him. He's probably going to be out this weekend against the Broncos. Of course, the preview of that game will be coming out on Saturday, uh, and then the predictions for Week Three will be coming out tomorrow, Friday. But a really big week. Teron Armstead should be back. Jalen Ramsey, of course, that whole story. He'll probably be back around week 11. Um, and that's what makes this Dolphins team so lethal is that two of their three best players have not even played the season yet. Armstead, like I said, though, should be back this weekend against the Broncos. Ramsey, like I said, should be back later this season, probably week 11, 12, around that time. Late November, early December. Jalen Phillips didn't even play last weekend. They still sacked Mac Jones four times. Bradley Chubb with the huge game. Um, glad to see him doing stuff in Vic Fangio's system, which was his old head coach. For them, Vic Fangio and Bradley Chubb, hopefully some type of revenge game for them against the Broncos. They traded Chubb and they fired Vic Fangio. So I'm really hoping that that defense can cause some problems for Sean Payton and Russell Wilson's offense. Um, 
But moving on to the NFC side, the Cowboys, 49ers, and Eagles, to me, are the three obvious best teams in the NFC. I don't see any other, I don't see any other team really contending with them right now. Um, off the top of my head, nothing really. No, nothing at all. So those are the top three teams. I'd probably put the Eagles behind, although the Eagles haven't been great. They pulled off the win week one against the Patriots. wasn't great. They started off 16-0 against them. Um, and they only lost by five. They only won by five, six points. And then week two, Thursday night against the Vikings, um, Kirk Cousins played really, really well against that defense, which isn't what you want to see. Of course, they lost both coordinators. Shane Steichen left to be the head coach of the Colts. Jonathan Gannon left to be the head coach of the Cardinals. And they have both new coordinators on both sides of the ball. Sean Desai is the new DC for them on, on the defensive side, of course. And you know, that defense hasn't been looking too great this year. Mac Jones was playing really well week one. They were carving them up. And Kirk Cousins played really well through for four touchdowns, was it? Maybe it was three on Thursday night. Um, the Vikings nearly pulled off the upset. So the Eagles are going to have to step it up because they're not going to be winning this division playing like that, um, especially like how the Cowboys have been playing. That defense has been looking like one of the best, if not the best in the NFL. The offense hasn't even had that much of an impact. Um, that's how good their defense has been. So... Yeah, man. I mean, the short video today, a little one. The Dolphins, like, I think the Dolphins are one of the best teams in the league. Now, they have a lot to prove for their fans, especially the home openers this weekend. And then Buffalo after that, that's going to be a huge game. I'm really hoping that they don't take this weekend against the Broncos as a trap game, though, because that could easily be considered one. But either way, that'll wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace.